They just got engaged. Since y'all just got engaged, what's y'all's fetish? I'm really, really into Asian women despite what I'm marrying. Bruh. I'm literally a white woman. I don't know what to say about that, so. What's your fetish? My fetish? That man right there. This one. Yeah. Thank you. I hope y'all have a great wedding. Thank you, man. Name one statue of a man in which women rub its ass in the name of tradition. Wow, you know what? You got me on this one. I can't think of a single statue. Not a one. I can't think of any weird traditions that people have done with male statues that have had, I don't know, large parts and attributes on its body that people find attractive. I've never seen anyone do that before. It's never been a meme. It's never been a trend. It's never been so severe that the copper loses its patina in one specific place where everybody seems to touch the statue. That's never happened. There is literally no evidence of that anywhere. You can't find it in a library. You can't find it on Google Images. You can't search for it there's nothing that you can do to find evidence of that because it's never happened ever touchdown taylor swift lands in baltimore ahead of the afc championship jet belches tons of co2 emissions do you understand just how much polluting you need to do in order for fox news to care about co2 emissions what a world we live in bro taylor swift must be killing every single endangered animal she must be poisoning the skies over third world nations because apparently everybody cares about where she's flying to and to be honest i understand she's taking 20 minute flights to nowhere nowhere she's flying from her house to her garage basically bro it's ridiculous and the twitter account that follows her flights somehow magically gets taken off the website every other month and i can understand why it's a little bit embarrassing to be taylor swift you know flying 20 minutes to nowhere and then telling the entire world who is demonstrably poorer than you to actually change their lives in order to save this planet today another transformer explosion at the german dam in boulevard state caused another massive blackout senator marco rubio an important transformer exploded in boulevard and that in part again collapsed the venezuelan electric system however it was not in a dam much less german my name is german dam I'm one of the journalists who published the information. My man, were you asleep when you made this tweet, bro? Did you pay attention to anything? Literally, the only thing true about this Twitter statement is that there was a massive blackout. Everything else, completely incorrect. And you just threw that out into the universe for your millions of followers to read and absorb. Some Apple Vision Pro users are upset after being unable to access VR. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You spend $3,500 on state-of-the-art AR goggles and you're upset that you can't access yams? That's what you're upset about? Of all the things that I've heard that you could do with these goggles, that's what you're concerned about. You want to see some yams. I wish I could say that I'm surprised. I wish I could say that I am somewhat shocked that people are concerned and are upset that they can't nut with the new AR goggles. My aggressively Buddhist neighbor set out a Buddha statue in his front yard, and my kids see it every day. If I put a cross necklace around the statue's neck without damaging it, can I be held liable? You're probably not going to catch vandalization charges. That's not happening, but trespassing charges, maybe. That might be a thing. Also, why can't you mind your own business? Why must this person enter somebody else's yard, somebody else's space, somebody else's property, and impose themselves upon them? There are certain types of people out there who, for whatever reason, have this itch. They have this addiction. They have this compulsion to be obnoxious. And for whatever reason, they're efficient with it. The obnoxious behavior is never done haphazardly it's always organized and that's what makes it worse this person's been planning to do this they went online and asked a question they don't want to catch charges if this individual focused any more time on watching their neighbor and spent more time fleshing out this plan i know for certain that it would become almost a part-time job to this individual that's what happens with these people they spend that much time being obnoxious you can't be in here so you need to go that way or go that I know, way but all my friends are in there i don't care so what? Is this just because you think I'm drunk? I didn't put you out. Who did? No, I did not. Peanut? Who's Peanut? This guy from my high school. Can I go that way just because there's a banner? No. Nothing will let me back in. No. Then why did you kick me out? I didn't kick you out. You did? No, I didn't. So I can't walk in without you yelling at me. No. 
Hey guys, sir, sir, do me a favor, go around that way. Thank you. Can you cry over there? No, I'm waiting for my friends. Whoa, that's an insane haircut. Like that's, that's the original haircut. Homeboy looks like he works in a field. He looks like a surf. With a haircut like that, I'd absolutely be humble. I certainly wouldn't think that I'm better than other people and for sure would not go onto a podium and try to talk about that, you know, with this type of haircut. I would not be that, ooh. Ooh, ah, oh, come on, man, no way. I'm just gonna tell you, man, you cannot have this type of politics with that type of hairstyle. It's going to be really hard for anybody to hear you out with the 1100 AD cut, bro. That, that's not happening, it's not happening. Now, if you changed your hairstyle to literally anything else, you might actually have a chance at sharing your thoughts and your feelings about being white in Estonia. It's kind of funny that there's Wignat behavior in Estonia. I don't think there's any other races that live there. Like for real, who's this guy's enemy? Who's he trying to deport? I, I would need to know. The Spanish Football Federation announces that instead of removing President Luis Rubiales, they will take legal action against player Jenny Hermoso, as they claim she lied about non-consensual kiss. The Federation also says players have an obligation to play for the national team after 81 female players said that they would not play until Rubiales was removed. I wish I could share the video of this incident with you guys, but it's absolutely a video of a crime. After Jenny's team won the game, she was walking off the pitch to celebrate with her coach. She wasn't walking off the pitch to receive a kiss. And it's pretty obvious by her body language that she wasn't prepared to kiss anyone that day. And for whatever reason, within this context, that kiss was permissible and not worthy of any sort of punishment because I'm certain that in any other circumstance, this dude would be in prison. Yet for whatever reason, she's the one receiving consequences and the teammates that are standing in solidarity with her are also receiving punishment. What is going on in Spain, man? Is that right? You don't sleep with vaccinated women? So who do you sleep with, my man? You live in the Western world. Literally everybody here is vaccinated. So who are you laying down with? A Martian? And how is this a flex? I'm trying to figure out what's macho about laying down with girls who have rubella. I don't know, maybe I just have like dated thinking. Maybe I'm just a little bit traditional because the girls who I like are girls who don't have polio. I, I just, I don't know. I, there's something that I can't change about myself. Now, what would compel you to do something like this? Ancestry DNA, really? You have that tattooed permanently on your body, a brand name that doesn't care about you in any capacity. And now the whole world knows that you're 42% Scandinavian, 26% Native American, 24% European and 8% Asian. And to be honest, I want to kind of know what you look like because that's an interesting combination of races right there. And all of us can only imagine what you look like. If I had to guess, you might look like a whiter version of The Rock. Life hack, you never have to check out of a hotel, just leave. Why does no one do this, including my husband? Well, it's because your credit card is still on file, lady, and they will fine you for not telling them when you left. Because when you check out, that's a big sign for everybody working in the hotel to come clean your room. If you don't tell them and you just randomly leave, you're going to be charged a whole lot of money. But hey, maybe Cody Sanchez got it. Maybe she just has deep pockets and is willing to waste money for fun. She just loves it. She can't get enough of having money fly out of her pockets. That's recreation for her. Maybe that's the situation. I don't know any other situation that would make sense because most people are reasonable and know that they don't want to catch a $100 fee, especially if that $100 fee is 100% avoidable. This next clip shows a man trying to skydive off of a hot air balloon with no permits or permission given, which results in the person running the hot air balloon having to cancel the entire trip. You're not high enough. I am high. Bro, no, you're I'm, not. Bro, you're not. I've got thousands. You don't. Of I don't give a shit, man. You have to tell this before we need to ask for permission. Yeah. We're not allowed to do this. We're actually filing a f***ing permit and you f*** us up. I'm telling you, oh man, we are actually filing a permit. If we do this illegally, man, you we're f***ing... You have it on video, you just tried to stop me. What? You have it on video, you just tried to stop me. I don't I... care. I can't stop you physically. I'm going down right now. Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. Can you please cooperate, please? Come on. Come on, you copy. That's copy. Yeah, please call the policeman. One guy is trying to jump from the balloon. Please let him go. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, no, that's no, no, not no, no, that's illegal. You down. Down. Yeah, but we can decide what we want to do. No, you have to take permit for we all that. We're going to we be in problem because of no, no. The, you. No question. Thank you. Come on, man. No, no, no. Come on, man. No. I'm telling you, no. 
Stop pushing it. Well, I mean, I'm being serious here, man. I know you're being serious. Yeah, yeah, stop it. But, I mean, just don't no. handle the rig, man. Come on. I'm not letting you jump. Okay, it's <laughs> over. Stop it. Bro, come on. If you, you don't let go of my hand, I'll beat you. Stop it. You let go of my rig. Man. No, I'm not letting you. You're trying to jump, man. I'm not letting you go. I'm sorry. I am. I have to physically stop you from jumping. That's. Right here. Damn it. Get your a time, time license. License. Yeah? Before you even get your A license, when you have like 15 skydives, they send you out at 3,000 feet. I have 2,000 skydives. We were plenty high. I would have had enough I would have had enough time to take a 10 second delay. Yeah, I don't okay. care. Straight from at CNBC, here's a budget breakdown of a couple that makes $500,000 a year and it still feels average. Now before we break this down, this isn't an individual making $500,000, this is a couple with their combined salaries. So that's the combined amount of money that's in that household, $500,000 a year. Keep that in mind. All right, just to be fair, we're going to ignore all of the investment contributions. So that's the 401k and anything else that's tangentially related to that. And also we're going to leave out the 40% tax rate because yeah, they're making a lot of money in that household and the federal government needs to eat too. That leaves them with a combined total of $278,000 a year to spend. That's a lot of money. Let's see how these people decide to spend it. Okay, so $42,000 for childcare absolutely makes sense. Childcare is expensive because compelling somebody else to raise your child while you go to work is ridiculous. Food for four includes date nights every two weeks. is $23,000 a year. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for food. Where are you going for food? The mortgage is, oh, oh my God. What are you doing? Where do you live? Do you live in like a million dollar house? You do. $1.5 million home. Good grief. Oh. Oh my God, and the property taxes on that is $20,000. Oh, good Lord, you guys still have student loan debt? How is that possible? For whatever reason, these guys still have student loan debt, and for whatever reason, it's costing them $32,000 a year. Good Lord, you're spending $18,000 on charity. I think you need to chill out and spend that money on paying down your student loan. $10,000 on miscellaneous things. What are you guys buying? Good Lord, three vacations a year for $18,000. No wonder you guys only have seven grand left. And the fact that CNBC really came out here publicly on Twitter and made it seem like $500,000 a year is still not enough to live is blowing my mind, bro. Are you serious? No way. No way, you chose the worst example for this. My boyfriend's cancer battle was ruining my mental health, so I left him. Now I'm running a marathon in his honor. To be honest, lady, you should just run the marathon. You shouldn't actually associate yourself with him in any capacity because I am certain his family and friends absolutely despise you. And don't get me wrong, taking care of someone in that severe of a condition is difficult and absolutely is hard on a relationship. But if you decide to leave, you cut all ties. There is no point in going around, you know, circling back and being like, this run, this race is in my ex-boyfriend's honor. Do you understand how incongruent that is? How that doesn't come off as genuine? It actually sounds like you're guilty for leaving him. If you literally didn't try to make amends, most people could understand your position. Most people can be fair about you leaving. Is it messed up that you did? Sure, but it's understandable. Now you just look like a fool in pink shorts. Hey, yo, is there any reason why Nintendo gave Link bones? I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Fellas, is it gay to have, let me, let me figure this out here. A pelvis? Apparently so, and to be honest, uh, I didn't know having a V on your waistline was a gay thing to have. I did not know that. I thought that was the result of me working out and having a really great figure. But apparently it seems like I have to go to a doctor and have my pelvis removed because I don't want anybody to think that I'm gay. A fourth grade teacher accidentally showed his students Winnie the Pooh blood and honey. Bruh, he didn't stop the movie. Even though there were kids saying, hey, stop the movie, we don't want to see this. Bruh, I totally forgot that film was made. I haven't met a single person who's ever spoken about it, let alone seen it. 
So to those out there in the audience who have seen the film, is it good? Is it any good? Or was it just an easy cash grab because Winnie the Pooh is now in the public domain? And initially, I thought it was a mistake, right? Initially, maybe this, you know, teacher just bought the wrong movie or rented the wrong movie. But it seems like the teacher actually just wanted to see the film and thought that he could get away with it because what student would turn down a movie day? I would never turn down a movie day. That's a day for me to either go to sleep or simply waste time. That is a perfect day at school where there's literally no work being done. Dude, this Counter-Strike 2 update is actually insane. What were they thinking? What do you mean insane? It's just stickers. I remember the stickers update though. <laughs> oh no. Russia's currency is in free fall. <clears throat> really? Where? Dude, you gotta be kidding me, man. Can we please use the resource the right way? I want you to click five years. Can you click that, please? Single mom arrested for abandoning her kids at food court while interviewing for a job 30 feet away. Okay, so that's the threshold, 30 feet. That's the lowest that you can go before you get arrested. Good Lord. Imagine that, trying to get a job and putting your kids somewhere remotely safe and then being arrested at the end of the interview. That's rough, but hey, I guess the law is the law, right? And apparently she broke it, even though it was an accident. I'm sure other situations like this or situations more serious like this are dealt with similarly. I mean, I couldn't imagine a justice system being inconsistent. We made a mistake. Former Arizona TV personalities avoid jail time after cocaine was found in their baby system. <laughs> Kids these days don't know the struggle. Really? Really? You struggle with this, like genuinely. You literally match the colors, bro. And apparently children born after 1990 are incapable of doing that. Now, I must acknowledge that if you were born in 2011, you probably with 60% confidence don't know what a VCR is and you probably wouldn't know how to set it up initially. But it's worth acknowledging that a child born at that time has no reason to know these things because a VCR in 2011 was basically a paperweight. The technology was and still is useless. And to end today's video, I have an article to share with you. It's a story about a couple and their trials and tribulations concerning their wants to have a child. And I implore all of you listening right now to be serious, to be fair, to be kind and not make fun of these people. Because when I read this article, you're going to be compelled to cackle and laugh. Try your best not to. Couple desperate for baby having sex the wrong way for four years, and wife is still a virgin. The devastated couple could not understand why they could not get pregnant, and they were stunned when the doctor told them the actual reason. And I'm sure all of you guys could imagine what hole was being plundered, and what methods in which they tried to have a kid that unfortunately didn't bear fruit. If this isn't a reminder that most people, I'm talking like maybe 60% of humans on this planet, know almost nothing. And the fact that you know most things is a testament to your intelligence and curiosity. Because most people on this planet just operate with zero facts and zero knowledge about things that are actually important. And once that important information is shared with them, their shock and awe is 100% genuine. I'm telling you right now, most people on this planet are operating with half of a brain, and every day I'm reminded of that. It's really hard to conceptualize that, because you would think most people would know which hole to fuck. You would think most people would know at least that. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aileris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. I know many of you guys are looking forward to the wholesome content, so I have a whole lot of that cooking up for you. I'm currently working on ways to make Humans Being Bros more entertaining for you guys, because every time I post that video, not many of you guys watch it, but many of you guys want it. So I'm going to try and make that video as tasty and entertaining as possible, so please give me a little bit more time. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to The Lord of War, Cater Hoof Behemoth Enjoyer, The Fungi, Tim Killian, Zilipith, Convicted Poop Slinger, Dawnbreaker Drake, Traffic Racer 124, Fisherman, Tariq, The Blurred Star, Mr. Sandman, Ironic PFP, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Loving Tate, Tron Destroy 23, Co Connor Purvis, S16, Infrared, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, The Fake Musician, Samantha Bellhart, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dundernass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so you can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.